Hey, this is Dow Too Fast here, and in this video I will talk about an oil filter and cap wrench. Uh, if you do your own oil change uh, on your Honda or Nissan, you might have come across uh, this type of wrench because it's just commonly found in uh, auto stores or even uh, Walmart. And this one I have here is what they call a double step because the uh, bottom here where I'm pointing to, it's a 67 millimeter, and then the top part here is a 65 millimeter. So it actually does uh, two sizes of filters. However, if you uh, have a Honda uh, vehicle or you have a Nissan vehicle, uh, like the filter I'm showing you here, the left one here is commonly used on many Honda vehicles. It's a, uh, the part number is 15400 PLM A01 or A02. And this one on the right here is a Nissan filter 152065F0C. And this one is commonly used on many of the VQ uh, 3.5 liter engines. So these are very common size for Honda and Nissan. However, having a um, 67 millimeter and 65 millimeter on this filter wrench, um, it doesn't exactly fit these two filters. The reason being the Nissan filter actually requires a 63 millimeter. And the Honda filter requires a 64 millimeter. But the thing is that even with the Honda filter, there's another problem that uh, you'll encounter. Is because the flutes on the Honda filter is not very deep, when you try to use this filter wrench on the Honda filter, it has a big problem because it actually does not seat in all the way. If I put it side by side, you'll see that uh, by the time the bottom of the wrench hits the bottom of the flute on the filter, it stops right here, and you still have a big gap here up top. So it actually doesn't grab it properly, all right? And if I put it in here, I'll show you also. That's where it stops. Okay. And that's that's how far it's going. Now, on the <laughs> other hand, if you have the uh, Nissan filter, it does go in. The full depth of it. But the problem is that it's still the size um, does not match properly. Again, this is 63 millimeter, 64 millimeter. The top part is 65 millimeter, and the bottom is 67 millimeter. So it's still a bit loose for the Nissan filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, talk about a modification I did to this uh, filter wrench that you can do at home very easily. And it will allow you to uh, uh, modify this so that it will work very well for both filters. So the first thing you want to do is get a saw and saw off most of the 67 millimeter size on the filter wrench. Okay, So you go around the entire filter wrench and you cut a ring off where the 67 millimeter is. Once you remove that, this becomes a lot more shallow and it will allow you to fit the Honda filter. Okay. And you can basically get some sandpaper and uh, smooth it out if it's a little rough, but that's the first step you want to do. The next thing you'll need after you do that is get yourself some HVAC aluminum fold tape. You can get these at uh, Home Depot. They're just maybe six, seven, eight dollars, not very expensive. And what you want to do is cut the width of your filter. Okay, so if your filter is this deep, then you just cut about this much on the foil and cut a length of it. Okay, and these are very easy to uh, cut even with uh, regular scissors. And they have a strong adhesive on the back. So, for example, here's a piece that I cut out and I'll just show you. They're very easy to cut and there's a sticky backing. Okay. Very sticky. Okay, so after you get the strip that you need then what you want to do is go inside and as you can see this one is already done uh, but I'm just going to show you is that basically place that strip inside here so what you want to do is wrap it around inside with a sticky side towards the inside of the filter wrench and do one complete wrap of the inside and then put on a second layer and you want to do a second layer but if you find that it's too tight after you put two layers on it, then on the second layer, you may want to only do, say, half 
okay, half of the inside surface. So you're going to have one layer that's complete all around, and then a second layer that might be only half or three quarters around, okay? And once you do that, what happens is that you're building uh, up the layers on this, making this diameter a lot smaller. So the 65 millimeter, you're going to convert it to a 64 millimeter. Now with the Honda filter, it provides a very snug fit and the entire flute will fit inside the filter so it won't slip and on a Nissan filter keep in mind this is one millimeter smaller than the Honda so it fits a little bit loose but it's not going to slip on you okay so this little mod you can do at home very easily will allow you to use one of these uh, filter wrench to work with both the Honda and the Nissan filter and lastly, if you guys wonder why there's a silver tape here, uh, this is mainly for myself because when I, when I reinstall the uh, filter on the vehicle, uh, once I have the gasket touch a surface, I like to kind of see how far I'm tightening. Usually it's about two-thirds way. So once I stop there, I know it's on properly. So I hope this video helps. Um, uh, those of you who do your own oil change or um, have one of these filters at home, and if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.